YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Alright folks, time for a good old-fashioned massive news update. Well, everything is massive, right, when you're on YouTube? Because, well, we have a lot of stuff to cover, that's why it's massive. And also, we have some leaks with regards to Solstice of Heroes. And I will say, one of the requirements um, I don't think a lot of people are happy about. And uh, I want to hear from you in the comments section when you see it. Also, real quick guys, when I did my impressions and review of the Ruinous Effigy, uh, first off, let me know how you're liking it. I'm loving it. It's fun. Remember, not every Everything has to be OP and uh, just destroy everything. It's a lot of fun. I like using it. Um, I forgot to mention, okay, for the catalyst when you're completing it, okay? No, you don't have to get just kills with the weapon because you'll be there forever. What you want to do is go for these eyes, the Savathun's eyes, all over the solar system and destroy them with the Ruinous Effigy. They've been immune before, but now you can use the Ruinous Effigy to destroy them. Uh, if you want a link to where they all are, uh, Houndish and also Jarv, uh, Jarvis I think his name is, um, they have videos up. I will link them both in the description and they show you the locations of where you can go find these things, destroy them, and upgrade your catalyst much faster than trying to get kills. Uh, I think one of the channel members in our channel member Discord said that he got his done in about 25 minutes. All right, let's get into the news. If you enjoy this video, a like rating is very much appreciated, but more importantly, subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I want to earn your subscription. We were down to 50% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, and then it jumped up to 55%. I know that the the past month or so I have not been uploading as much not streaming as much but you know what I was going through some personal stuff if you follow me on Twitter at Mesa Sean I made a tweet what I was going through and nope I'm over it back in the saddle right now uploading daily videos streaming like crazy on YouTube and my streams are going unlisted and in a playlist that will be on the side of your screen if you want to click it where all my previous live streams were this way it doesn't affect the YouTube algorithm which loves to destroy your YouTube videos if you stream too much on YouTube but hopefully they change that all right I'm babbling Let's get into the news already. Okay, a pretty cool secret found over on Reddit. Okay, so there's a user named, I think it's Rylic Terra, said I found sirens for the evacuation. Now, we know the evacuation is going to start or is underway with regards to Titan, but all the destinations that are being vaulted, well, there's going to be an evacuation quest, and I did cover this in previous videos. Well, there's a really ominous audio clip that, um... Rylic Terra, I'm going to butcher that name, I'm probably saying it wrong, but um, he uploaded it to a site, I'm going to link it in the description as well as the Reddit post, but you want to listen to it, so he posted, I'm still working on the soundtrack for this season, but here's what I found while trying to sort them out in the AIMP, and when you listen to the clip, I'm not going to play the audio here, I'll link it in the description, definitely listen to it, it is weird, you hear all this sort of ominous stuff at the beginning of the, like something is being like destroyed or things are happening, and then all of a sudden you start hearing these weird sirens going off as, well, if it was some sort of evacuation. And so this was posted, well, at the time I'm recording this video right now, four hours ago, the night before, well, on Bungie Day. Um, more than likely this hit the database and will be in the evacuation and we'll see it at some point probably during like a cutscene or something like that. But pretty interesting secret he found. So we got an update uh, 2.9.1. Now I'm not going to go through the whole thing because a lot of it is just kind of fixing broken things. However, there is a few things I want to cover and then we're going to move on to a whole thing about Bungie Day and also some things from the moments of triumph. But with regards to some of the activities, check it out with regards to the raids. Now the raids are obviously... Well, they want us to do the raids, obviously, for moments of triumph. But check this out. The following raids no longer have weekly reward limits from the main encounters in The Leviathan, Eater of Worlds, Spire of Stars, Crown of Sorrow, and Scourge of the Past. However, note, the secret chests will continue to have weekly lockouts. And this, here's where it gets really interesting. All armor from above listed featured raids have been updated to use Season of Arrivals Infusion Cap. Last Wish and Garden of Salvation raid weapons and armor have been updated to use the Season of Arrivals Infusion Cap, which uh, if you look on them right now, it says 1360, which means we can pretty much use the raid gear uh, from Last Wish and Garden of Salvation into year four. So yeah, and let me know in the comments. You know what? I'm thinking... I'm going to do some streams of the old raids. Man, I, 
I miss the Leviathan and I definitely miss Eater of Worlds. Man, I loved Argos. Fun, fun raid. Moving on to Bungie Day. Well, the celebration is about us, not Bungie, but they do have a number of things that we can buy that will go to charity. So check some of these items out. I order that black shirt. You know, guys, I always wear black shirts all the time. But proper attire. While attending a celebration, you should always choose something nice to wear, something festive, they say. The Bungie store has you covered, and they're having a sale. And if you go to the, the Bungie store, a number of the items are on sale. But they got some pretty cool new stuff here. Um, so uh, they say during the pandemic, sick kids around the world are needing to be isolated isolated from family and friends and limit their exposure to critical care workers. A portion of your Bungie store purchase will support the Bungie Foundation's efforts to keep kids connected, engaged, and entertained during this challenging time. So if you see some items, go buy them, and it's going to a good cause. So Moments of Triumph is active right now, and I have a question for you in the comments section. Are you going for the seal? So there's a number of rewards, which I'm going to show on screen in a minute here, but obviously we've got some uncapped raid rewards, and they want us in the raids. One of the things that I think is troubling a lot of people, including myself, um, is that you need seven trials wins. So you're figuring, oh, that's not bad at all. Well, if you play on PC like me, okay, Trials is a nightmare. Trials on PC is just nothing but DDoSers, hackers, aimbots galore, cheaters, you name it. Uh, we see it on PC, but how is it on console? Is it any better or is it worse? I don't know. But yeah, there's a ton of rewards now that you can get from Moments of Triumph, and there's actually a full web page that Bungie put up with all the different rewards, and they show the pictures of it. We've got some emblems, we've got different sparrows, we've got some ghost shells, and of course, there's a Moments of Triumph t-shirt that you can get, and they got this insane-looking raid ring, and also a raid emblem to go along with it. Now, I'm not into rings, okay, but... If I do go for it, and uh, I don't know, I can't say no to that ring. I'm not going to wear it. I don't wear rings, whatever, but I'll put it on my little uh, shelf full of tchotchkes that I have that are full of uh, Destiny 2 stuff that I've gotten from various capture events uh, all over the years. But some pretty cool stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna, I, I, I might go for the seal. It depends how the trials things goes, and I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it at there. You let me know in the comment section. Are you going for the seal? Community manager Dylan from Bungie tweeted out, Ah, missed a patch note. Dungeon now offers Sparrow slash Ghost when you complete specific triumphs. If you already completed them, those rewards will pop up in orbit when you sign in. And he's referring to the prophecy, of course. So you get the Sparrow if you go flawless, and you get the Ghost is for when you go solo. And get both at the same time if you go flawless while you're solo. Moving on to the Solstice of Heroes live event. Okay, that's going to be hitting August 11th through September 8th. And it's free for everyone. Now, note it says new glowing legendary armor. Well, we're going to take a look at the armor and all the different rewards. And, man, last year was a huge buzzkill because that armor was probably the best looking armor I think they've ever had in Destiny. And the glows looked incredible. And I spent all of, not all of my Bright Dust, but I think it was like 30,000. You could either use money or a boatload of Bright Dust to get the glows. And of course, I used Bright Dust to buy all the glows, and that armor was pretty much irrelevant shortly. Now, here's the image from our resident data miner, Ginzer, who I will link in the description. 2020, Solstice of Heroes, the annual tradition to honor the sacrifices of guardians everywhere has come again. Gather and celebrate the resilience of humanity's foremost defenders. Earn and upgrade exclusive armor sets to unlock an armor glow powered by your own light energy. Fight through the skies of the European Aerial Zone. That place is coming back. Thank God. I love that place. I love the European Aerial Zone, so I'm excited about that. However, check it out. Visit the Eververse for elemental armor ornaments to change the look based on your playstyle. Void, Arc, or Solar. So, I guess we still have to buy the glows again, or will it just glow on its own? Well, it says it's going to glow on its own, but I guess to make it look even cooler, uh, Eververse will have some ornaments. And it says, complete the moments of triumph for glory and loot. Visit Eva Levante in the tower. So, she's going to be involved as usual. Here's a look at the armor, and I think it looks cool. Uh, I don't know. I like last year's set a little better, I think. I don't know. I need to see it in person when we actually get these. But let's go over the requirements for each of the pieces. So, first off, let's talk about the helmet. Uh, complete a Nightfall or Deal Strike on Master Difficulty. Just need to do one. Gloves. Complete a Nightmare Hunt on the Moon. Okay, that's doable. Uh, complete the Pit of Heresy. 
on the moon. That's doable. Ah, the boots. Win matches in Trials of Osiris. Seven. You need to do seven of those. That's not going to be fun on PC. I complain too much about Trials of Osiris on PC, Sean. Shut up. And for the class item, defeat the final boss in Altars of Sorrow three times. So pretty doable for everything except the Trials thing is going to be a nightmare unless it just brings a lot of people in and hopefully on PC we don't run into too many cheaters. But again, I want to know, what is it like on console to play Trials? I, I really do want to know. That is going to do it for this video, guys. Leave me a good old hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end. If you'd like to further support the channel and become a channel member, click the link in the description or click join on screen. We have built up a huge amazing Mesa Army community over on Discord and also the channel members have set up a clan that got so big we have multiple regiments now for PC, Xbox and also PS4. You're not paying for a clan, no, the channel members set one up because we grew so much and we just have an amazing community. I would love for you to be a part of it. Alright guys, that's it. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaSean. Check out my stream. Usually I know it's on YouTube and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir.